The Ants and the Grasshopper by Heather Horn. The days of summer were long gone, and the shorter days of autumn were now here. Both field and forest creatures scampered about. The leaves turned a touch more golden and red with each passing day, and the wind shook a few more leaves from the trees every time it blew. It would soon be winter, and all the insects knew it. The delicate butterflies had already fluttered south to follow the warmer, longer days. Beetles were burrowing into the little cracks of the nearby houses. The worms were busy wiggling their way deep into the earth. A family of ants lived at the edge of the great wheat field. They were also hard at work preparing for the long, cold months ahead. Although they were small, their strength was mighty. Each of them worked long and hard all day. While some dug tunnels in the chambers below, others cared for the young. The strongest of the colony went out into the field each day to dry the grain they had collected all summer. It was hard work, but they pressed on day after day. Back and forth, the ants marched. It was late in the day when a hungry grasshopper passed by the ants. He had traveled a long way, and his poor belly grumbled for food. He saw the ants and their harvest of grain. Surely those little ants can share some of the grain with me, he thought to himself. He tucked his fiddle under his arm and humbly walked over to the ants. Excuse me, could you please spare a bit of grain for a poor grasshopper like me? He begged. Why does a big grasshopper like you need grain? Don't you have some stored away for the cold months ahead? The ants questioned. What were you doing all summer when the days were warm and long? Oh, hot summer days are when I play my best music. There is nothing like filling the air with the sweet sound of my fiddle. Would you like to hear a tune? The grasshopper chirped. He began to play a lively little song for the ants. The ants quickly turned around and went back to preparing for winter. The autumn wind was quite wild that day. It scattered leaves all around them. It was not easy to carry such a load with the wind in their faces. Can you believe that the grasshopper had the nerve to come begging for food? He has done nothing to help himself, they said. The grasshopper watched as the ants returned to their work. Do you like my music? he asked as they walked away. You did not help yourself over the summer, and you certainly didn't offer to help us now. Why should we help you? They replied. The grasshopper felt deep regret. You are right. I was wrong to play all day, and I was wrong to play as I watched you work. Please forgive me. He hung his head and turned to go. The ants took pity on the grasshopper. They knew they were right, but they also knew it was wrong to turn away an insect in need. If you pitch in with the gathering of the grain and promise to help when you see an ant in need, we will share our harvest with you, the ants offered. The grasshopper could not believe his ears. It was the sweetest music he had ever heard. He promised to change his ways. He was very thankful. The ants received something that day too. They all agreed that the grasshopper's fiddle playing was the best around. It put a lively step in their march as they worked. Hard work pays off. So does compassion. Find out why over a million parents have used goodandbeautifulbooklist.com to find clean, appropriate books. Check out the free book list now and dive into the world of good and beautiful literature.